What's up guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com and in this Lightroom episode, we're going to be teaching you guys another creative edit. So let's get started. What I have here is an image that was actually shot out in China and this was shot quite a while ago. I forgot when, let's see if our date and time is actually right. I'm gonna hit I to bring up my date and time. Oh yeah, it was shot in May of 2008. So that was a long, long time ago. But uh, it's a cool image. I shot it out in Canton, uh, tripod of the shot. Let's go over the settings. This was shot, I think, on a 40D, on a Canon 40D at the time. Um, and it was shot at F10, ISO 400, and it was, a, it was a shutter drag. So I think the shutter was open for roughly 15 to 20 seconds, somewhere around that time. So uh, I'm gonna hit I again to, re whoops, not remove flag. I'm gonna hit I again to remove our information. And uh, let's hit F twice to go full screen, give us more real estate, and let's get started on this creative edit. So first thing we're going to do, again, start with the sweeping changes, the large changes first. And the thing that bugs me the most right now is the crop. So I'm going to start with the crop. So let's fix that. Uh, it looks about good right there. And let's do this. Now what I want to do in this image with this creative edit is I'd like that sky to be nice and blue. And I'd like to have all the building and stuff be nice and, and orange and warm. So we're going to do that, but let's do our basic adjustments first, and then we'll we'll go over and do the coloring. All right, so let's pull our temperature down. I want to bring that blue into the sky. And uh, right now, I'm not worried about the color and tone of anything else in this image, just the blue in the sky. So let's get the skies blue. This is a really typical uh, nighttime scene in Canton. It's always uh, like cloudy and always like that dingy kind of haze. So rare, very rarely do I actually see the sun in that friggin' city. But uh, anyway that's on that's a completely different side a depressing note uh, so I'm bringing the blacks up to plus five we don't really need any recovery um, we don't need fill light because it's just gonna add it's just gonna add um, uh, noise into our shadows and we don't really need that and we don't really need to bring out the shadows I kind of like it where it's a little bit more dramatic if we want we can add a little bit okay well let's go with plus five let's go with plus ten we'll go with that and we'll just uh, we'll set it and forget it just like you would a Ron what is it, the Ronco uh, rotisserie chicken ovens? I'm gonna subtract a little bit of uh, of exposure out of it just to bring down the highlights a tiny bit, uh, and that looks fine right there. Add a little more contrast just to kind of make it pop a little bit more. Add a little bit of vibrance just for the sky, and a little bit of clarity just for detail and mid-tone contrast. Now, let's close up our basic panel. We're gonna zoom in and let's take a look at the detail. So let's open up the detail panel. I wanna do a wee bit of sharpening here and I'm not going to go up too high because this is a JPEG image uh, and not a raw so we don't need to go up that high I just want to kind of see where it looks actually pretty decent at 30 and 1.3 and 25 but we do need some noise reduction so let's pump up the noise reduction and see where we can get to um, let's see I'm not too worried about going too high in this image I want to see what it, it's, it's actually looking like uh, just because, you know, this is, you know, and that noise is actually kind of cool looking noise too. So I almost just want to leave it and say it's okay. So let's just leave that noise actually. If you want, you can reduce a little bit. I don't want to go too high. If I go to up too high, I get this kind of artifacting look and I, I just don't like that look at all. I'd rather have some noise and have it look normal than have artifacting. Okay. So now what we're going to do is just do a little bit of image cleanup. So let's just go back. Actually, let's do one quick thing with our lens corrections. Let's just even out these tones along the edge of the sky a little bit. So I'm just going to reverse the vignette and pull it in a little bit. So let's go up to plus 50 just to kind of even out that sky tone. And that looks great. Let's close that up. Let's go to the top. Let's hit our uh, spot removal tool by hitting Q. And uh, let's zoom in. We have a little dot right here. I don't know what the crap that is. That's a, that's a weird looking star or something. But either way, let's get rid of that dot. And let's get rid of some of these. Uh, we have kind of some dust effects. We shot this at F10, and so we're going to have sensor dust, obviously, because I clearly don't clean my sensor enough. Actually, it's kind of hard to clean your sensor enough if you shoot a lot, because uh, we're always out shooting. So you have to like literally be cleaning after every single time, and that's just not possible. So when we get into areas like this, we want to be really careful. What I'm probably gonna do is sample from right here, or I'm gonna clone this area out from right here, and I'm gonna sample from somewhere that's really, really close by. And uh, let's see how it, how it does right there. Uh, looks fine, can't really notice it at all. So that's great. 
I'm going to zoom in. We're going to clean up our other spots. I'm going to go right here. These ones are much easier because there's not really much you can do wrong in those areas. With these kind of um, spot removals, if you guys have any weird effects, like if you can see the, uh, the spot removal area showing up, just try adjusting the opacity down a little bit. Um, it'll help kind of conceal what you're trying to cover up while not completely removing it and creating that kind of circular um, clone out area that becomes noticeable. But for most of this, it should look totally fine just the way it is. And let's click on our spot removal tool just to check it out. It looks good. I don't see anything noticeable anymore. And that is just what we're trying to do. So now let's get to adding in our creative color. Now, what I think would be really cool in this image is because we have this blue tone kind of coming in and, and, and kind of bluing out the tops of these image, uh, the tops of the buildings, it'd be really cool if we kind of had the street lights from the bottom kind of affecting the bottom of the image and making it orange. So what we're going to do is add a graduated filter. We're going to hold Alt to uh, reset it out. We're going to hold Alt and hit reset. And now we're going to add this color. And what I want to do is add a nice orange color to it. We're going to adjust the color in a second. I just want it to be visible right now. We're going to pull this up from the bottom and drag it up to about right there. Actually, let's let's make it a little bit less. Uh, I don't know what that beep was, but no matter. We're going to keep going. Okay, right about there is fine. So I have this nice kind of graduation from where the sky is turning the tops blue and where the the street is turning the bottoms orange. Let's adjust the color now so it looks natural. It looks cool. Um, let's see. Well, I don't want to go too much in the reds. I want it to be really more of the yellows, but not too much of the greens either. So let's take it up right about here. And what we're going to do is just add a little bit of contrast to this brush, add a little more saturation to the brush. And that looks really cool right there. Okay. I'm going to pull it up just a tiny bit because it looks a little bit unnatural where it's fading. Actually, no, let's pull it down. It's okay right about there. Okay. Now if I want, I can kind of exaggerate the bottom a little bit further by adding one more layer and just kind of amplifying the bottom even more. Um, I don't think it's necessary and I think it looks great, just a little bit more subtle. And what we're going to do is actually warm up the image just a tiny bit. Whoops, not, not that much. Just a tiny bit so that it kind of pulls the sky back a little bit. Um, the sky looks a little bit fake when it's at negative 40 or negative 60. So let's just get it back up a little bit and it gives us a little more orange in the, uh, in the street and everything like that too. So let's go with negative 50 and I think that's a great number. Let's add just a little bit more of this, uh, vibrance to it and a little bit more contrast overall. And that looks awesome guys. So we're going to save this out as a new snapshot. We're going to go creative color edit. And let's check out the before and after. I'm going to hit backslash. Here is our before image. Whoops, I can't even see my keyboard right now. Here's the before. And then here is our after creative coloring. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And uh, be sure to check out the next episode. Talk to you guys soon.